Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, Beer Review. So today, uh, Saturday the 25th of November, I have no idea. Uh, I've been to Black Irish Brewery and today I was driving. So, um, but I did buy some beers. So I bought this. Um, it's Drop the Anchor, third. Don't look much, does it? <laughs> um, and I've got it in a brand new. Fire Rock Brewing third class. So good on Fire Rock. Thank you, for Mr. Fire Rock. We actually did a collaboration with Black Iris. So here's the bit. I'll pour it out. So I got this from Keg, and uh, yeah, it's actually it's actually revigorated itself, um, carbonated itself in in the bottle. So that's interesting for future reference for myself. That these 330ml Panda Pop bottles are actually handy um, for doing reviews. So what it says here is Simcoe, Mosaic and Centennial Hops anchor this classic black IPA to the world IPAs where there's a small selection of fine dark malts and a hint of caramel balance this beer out to give you the classic roastiness you'd expect from quite possibly the perfect beer style black ipa yeah i mean black ipas looks like a stout but it's got a tropical element with a stouty element as well um bonkers it is actually bonkers so i'll go back images click on that one and there we go there is drop the anchor so as you can see you know black iris good for their Hopefully you can see it. So I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. So yeah, 6.5%. Um, didn't pay a lot for it for a third. A couple of quid, actually. So not bad pricing. Do notice that when you go around... Um, when you go around... Um, perhaps now I've been to a craft beer bar. And for a third, minimum price is like... 370, 380, one third, and this was only for a 9.8%. It was a barrel like oak aged uh, with import Madeira barrels, but it was like seven quid for a third. I'm not joking. I would have tried it. I'd lay it paying seven quid for a third. You know, robbing fuckers. Um, Pull my French. So, cheers, Black Iris. Um, like I bought this today in the Panda Pot bottle. Wanted to review it tonight. Three reviews, I've got three for reviews to do. So it's nice to do it actually in the house. I've been out today. I've had a couple of beers while I've been out. Came back, went into Sherwood. Ran and dropped the car off. Had uh, four beers. Um, two halves, basically. Well, two halves and two thirds, actually. But, um, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. So, yeah. Getting a roastiness on those, but also a hint of tropical. Still quite cold, actually. Just to show you how cold it is at the moment. Crazy, crazy that, uh, that roasty element and with the tropical element. It, it bar the Black IPA is a balmy style. Totally wrong when you think about a black India pale ale. Um, but these days, you know, breweries will call what they call beers and there's not much you can do about it. It is what it is. Um, as you can see, I am not in the beer room. Um, the house is lovely and toasty. The shed is bloody freezing. And, uh, yeah, um... Literally over the next week, I'm going to set the uh, dining room up to become, or the kitchen up to become my new place for beer reviews. Um, I'm getting a bit old in the tooth, I think, for sitting in a cold shed. And I'm using the gas fire in the house to supplement the um, the heating, you know, in the cost of living crisis. So, um, you know, a gas bottle in the house 
uh, to heat downstairs up, just to keep downstairs tickling ever nicely. Upstairs is never cold because heat rises, but downstairs, yeah. As it was a bit cold with black iris today, um, it's great having the tap room outdoors. And in, in the summer, spring, and autumn, it's not so bad. Come winter, it is very much a different proposition, uh, more of a hardcore place to go. I do wonder if Black Iris really suffer in the winter months. And it begs the question. Um, I know they employ staff, so it's not easy for them. But it begs the question whether uh, in the winter months to te take the brewery tap room inside, inside the brewery. But I suppose that means you've got to move loads of stuff. And uh, I mean, I remember going to the brewery when the shop was inside the brewery. And uh, it was only, you know, it was a big warehouse, but, you know, a very small a bit at the front, which is why they built the tap room. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they have got they have got little outdoor heating things that you can press. But even so, um, yeah, it gives a bit of a blast of heat for a minute. And I mean, I suppose you can keep pressing it, but, and I suppose because they're not keeping the heat on all day, it's giving out bursts of heat rather than um you know continuous heat just to appease those uh, and you know and then you've got to turn the heat on and off and all that yeah so i suppose in the way they do it it's a clever way but still it's an outdoor tap room and that means it's succumb to any weather british weather is not the greatest any time of the day as i know being a god but always nice to get down to black iris you know, like I say, went today. Um, so one of our friends, Lisa, she's never been to Black Iris. So it was good for her to get down um, and check the place out. We won't stop in there for long, to be fair, because it was basically a meeting point for me to go somewhere else because uh, my beer, collaboration beer, was being released today with Alter Ego Brewing. So that was quite the moment for me, you know, um, as people know, I absolutely love the beer industry. That's the reason I do beer reviews. I don't do beer reviews just to become a YouTuber. Um, I do beer reviews because it gives me the chance to talk and talk sh shite. But, um, yeah, it gives me the chance to talk. Hence why I do what I do. And, uh, and be positive. And I do try and be as positive as I can about the local beer scene. Um, and try not to let little things that annoy me get to me. These things do happen there. And we do, as, as, as a couple, and with our friends, we spend an awful lot of money on beer, supporting pubs, supporting breweries. And I like that, you know, uh, especially when you're a fan of something. And as a hobby, you know, it's a bit of salvation sometimes. You need that salvation. You have a week at work. You just need to get away from what your work is. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who can, um, uh, who knows that, you know, sometimes just to get away and do what your hobby is, do what you like. Um, but in any case, I primarily picked two dark beers today from Black Iris. Uh, quite a few new beers on, to be fair. So if you've not been down the uh, tap room for a while, um, yeah, a good range of different beers on there. Plenty in the fridge as always. Two double fridges full of craft beer. Plenty of merch. Uh, one cast line. One cider line. Uh, Snenton Cider Company. Wow. The awesome Snenton Cider Company. Absolute top class people. Love them to bits, you know, genuinely. You know, they are absolutely amazing. Um, and to be fair, all the local breweries, you know, apart from a couple, obviously, there's always an exception to the rule, but, you know, for the most part, all the local breweries are absolute legends. Um, so. Black pour, um, tropical nose, tropical taste, 
with that unmistakable stout element, roasty toasty element built in. Black IPAs I, I just find so bonkers. The the black, they look like stout. Tastes a bit like stout, but have a tropical side of things. Yeah, it's just bonkers. Um would I drink it again? Yes, yes, of course. Out of five, as always, stunning brewery. Good four point five out of five. Cheers, black eyes.